Hey Gemini, welcome to your mid-month tarot reading for October 2019. We're going to see what messages need to come out for you guys. We're going to be looking into the recent past and current energy and then the near future. We'll do a quick single reading and then we'll get advice. Um, check out the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply, so just take what does and leave what doesn't. Alright, you can also swap the roles so I can be talking about somebody in or around your environment, whether that is a friend, a family member, co-worker, lover, ex-partner, whoever the fuck you're dealing with. And I swear a lot, so if you don't like swearing, click off this video. Thank you. Um, you can, I already said you can swap the roles. <laughs> swap the roles, I already said that. Um, if this video doesn't resonate right away, that's okay. Keep it in your back pocket, you never know, you may need it, or you may need to just come back to this video down the line, whenever this may resonate. But also keep in mind that you have your own free will and just because I may say something doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen because you have your own choices. If you don't like a specific message, you have your own free will, right? So if you don't like the outcome or like, oh, you should do this instead or like, you know, I'm showing you your options, you don't like your options, you don't have to take it. So just keep that in mind. So now that the card seems to be ready, let's go. What happened in the recent past for Gemini? I did your reading yesterday for the weekly, and that was fucking crazy, so don't know who that was for, but it's just like, whew, hoping that this reading is a lot better, <laughs> so, oh wait, I want more, one more, for Gemini, any other messages for Gemini's recent past, oh, okay, I'm not taking that, what was it though, yeah, the magician reverse, but we ain't, we ain't taking that, that's too many cards, so this is your recent past, Gemini, we have temperance, we have the moon, we have page of swords reversed, and we have the queen of swords. So it's looking like in the recent past, you were finding your own peace and stability, peace of mind within yourself and just remaining calm and finding <sighs> release from something, release from something, relief, finding clarity, answers. We're going to look into this, but it's all, you could also be dealing with Sagittarius here. But I honestly, I'm just feeling like you're filling your own cup. You're just finding balance and peace and wisdom within you. We'll, we'll get into that. We also have the moon here talking about things maybe you're allusion to or just secrets are not seeing something clearly. You need to listen to your intuition. Okay, your intuition is trying to tell you something. So definitely pay attention to that. You're on a path. You're on this new journey or whatever journey you may have been on for a while. And there's like these little stones, these stepping stones, and you're just taking one leap at a time, or one step at a time, one leap at a time. You're going from rock to rock, and it's just part of your path. So whatever you're going through, and we'll see what the hell's going on, it's just, it's part of it. You're going to reach your destination. Just keep moving forward. There could be somebody watching you from afar. Or maybe, I mean, this is your recent past. So maybe somebody was watching you, and, um, wasn't really speaking, maybe there was very little to no communication, but I feel like maybe there were just like no talking blocks regarding something. Maybe you cut something out, you're protecting yourself, head over heart decision, maybe you cut somebody off and it was for your own good and maybe they are left confused or maybe that was you, maybe, I don't know, There's we'll have to look into this, okay, but you had to release something or cut something off for your own peace of mind here. Maybe there are secrets in the past, maybe somebody tried lying to you or was up to no good and you weren't really sure, but the best, the only thing that you were sure of is that this wasn't what you wanted and you needed to protect what was best for you. So let's go into this, let's clarify and see what the hell was going on in the recent past. Okay. Talking about temperance for Gemini's recent past, please. Talk about temperance for Gemini's recent past. Final ones, the devil, six of pentacles, king of cups, knight of pentacles reversed. So, Sorry, I'm just like trying to gather, okay, which one, which fits with what. So I feel like 
First of all, you were very determined on gaining your own peace and wisdom within yourself, being calm and collected emotionally, not letting anything not throw you off your balance. And so you're staying determined and protecting yourself, protecting your emotions, protecting your vulnerability, protecting yourself. And you are staying determined on going towards your near future, right? You, you know, those stepping stones, your near goal, whatever you're working towards, you're staying determined and you're not giving up because you know you're going to get there eventually. There could have been somebody, I feel like you may have cut somebody off, right, with the devil and the six of pentacles, as well as the knight of pentacles reversed. You could have been dealing with an earth sign, a lot of earth energy here, as well as Capricorn energy. And I feel like maybe in the past, there was somebody who, wait, this card, who could have been giving you breadcrumbs with the six of pentacles here. Maybe it was an unhealthy connection, an unhealthy bond, and so therefore with the knight of pentacles reversed, I feel like there's just, I feel like you just went, went the other way from this connection you're like you know what this isn't meant for me this person's making me beg for attention or basically beg for breadcrumbs and it's like i want the whole fucking loaf not breadcrumbs bitch not a slice not some crumbs give me the whole loaf of bread otherwise i don't want it <laughs> if you're giving bread out to everybody else and you're giving me some little pieces of the crumbs i don't want it don't share your bread with all your hoes you know and so, therefore, you let this connection go for your own peace of mind, because it just, it wasn't, it just, it was, it wasn't good, alright? Whatever it was, because we had the devil here, and the devil just isn't good. Toxic, maybe codependency, maybe, to well, I already said toxic, um, overindulgence, who knows, but whatever it was, it was unhealthy for you, and you recognize that, and you're like, you know what, I need to find peace within myself this isn't working it's not good for me it's unhealthy and so i'm gonna just protect myself and do what's best for me sorry if you don't like it but this is what i gotta do so let's go into the moon i mean maybe there was secrets or lies or something but we'll see Turn at the moon maybe your intuition was trying to tell you something and you weren't really sure if it was true or not and so you ask this person hey blah 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 and then they like straight up lie to your face or like act guilty and you're like wait my intuition trying to tell me something. Tie up the moon for our Gemini. Temperance again. Tie up the moon for te Gemini. Three of Pentacles reversed. Tie up the moon for Gemini. Two of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. Oh, and the Wheel of Fortune underneath the Four of Cups. So, I definitely feel like there was a lot of working together here with the Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like maybe you weren't seeing eye to eye with this person. And so you were kind of juggling, do I keep him in my life? Do I let him go? Do I, I don't know if this person's good for me. And so you're weighing out if it was worth it, worth your time. And we have the four cups here. So it's just like, maybe you just weren't feeling it or they were just like, you couldn't put your finger on it, but something just felt off. And so I just feel like you have to leave this behind for your own peace of mind. Like something felt off for you something you were questioning there was something that you didn't get or you didn't understand or you didn't see and so therefore you're like you know what i just i need to go find my inner peace and like figure my own shit out with temperance here finding balance within yourself and so therefore the wheel of fortune this is where things start to change and you make this decision because the two of pentacles reverse is about making a decision so whatever this decision was it made you your life basically change it you chose a path you chose left or right and so, depending on whatever you chose, it's changing something. Like, something is changing right now. You're going through a change, or you were going through a change in the past, and it's for the good of yourself. I'm going to the page of Souls Reverse for Gemini. Tell me about the page of Souls Reverse for Gemini, Human Rising Venus, in the recent past. about the page of swords reverse in the recent past for Gemini, some of the Venus. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, so you could have blocked somebody or just completely cut ties with someone. Seven of Pentacles, time the page of swords reverse for Gemini, Queen of Cups, and Two of Swords, as well as King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords reversed. So, like I said, you could have put blocks in the communication. There's very little to no talking with whoever you may have left. Whoever you had an unhealthy bond to, 
I feel like you just left them because you recognized it wasn't good for you, it wasn't what you wanted, it was unhealthy maybe for both of you or whatever was going on, it just wasn't working out and so you decided I need to do what's best for me, I may need to block this person, I may need to just distance myself from them, I need to cut them off, whatever you had to do and um, I have a feeling like maybe somebody, the person you've left behind isn't really, oh you know what, this is totally related to the reading I just did yesterday, I'm feeling like there's a third party in the reading I did yesterday, now it may not apply to everybody that reading, but it was like somebody got left out in the dust because Gemini or like the main person decided to go back to somebody from their past, so I don't know if it's going to be the same fucking reading, <laughs> but it's looking like somebody here might be a little bit pissed off because this page of swords, he kind of looks pissed off, like he's just like, you know, glaring, he's just like, you motherfucking bitch, you know? I don't know, that's kind of what I- like, he just has like a glare, like he's just like, you know, like, <laughs> so, somebody's not very happy, but you don't really give a shit because you are working on planting your own seeds, planting that garden, getting that abundance, planting and manifesting new things that are better for you in your life. You were stuck at a crossroad, you weren't really sure, should I block this person, should I keep them in my life? You decided, fuck it, I'm gonna block them. Or I'm gonna cut them off. Or I'm gonna distance myself. It's for my own peace of mind here. Um, I swear we had the King of Cups here. Did we not? Did we not? I swear we did. But maybe I'm just tripping. Either way, though, you're just finding peace within yourself, peace within your own emotions, and not letting anything get in the way. You're very intuitive. You're very. You could be very spiritual, somebody who's very loving, caring, and just wants the best in people, but you recognize, you know what, this connection, I may care about you, I may love you, but you know what, we have the fucking devil here, and like, it's not good for either of us, so I have to, I have to take charge and make the decision that, you know what, gotta break it off, my intuition is screaming at me, I need to listen to it, I need to go find whatever is best for me, and so do you, we all need to get our shit together and follow our own paths. So, that being said, goodbye. You know, like, you may have to, like, maybe you said goodbye to them before you cut shit off, gave them a quick little explanation, and then you blocked them or some shit, I don't know. But it was all for your own good, and, um, I don't even know. But you're just protecting what mattered to you. Head over heart decision. The King of Swords. The bottom of the deck. So let's go into the Queen of Swords for Gemini. I found the Queen of Swords for Gemini. Two of Cups reversed and the Ten of Swords, yeah. So maybe somebody felt left out or betrayed or betrayed. Betrayed could have been somebody you maybe shared a home with, a family life with, lived with, or just even a strong connection or relationship with. Somebody you invested a lot of time with. And so somebody here, whether this is you or them, there was some type of pain, deception. There was an ending here for sure. There was definitely an ending here. The Two of Cups reversed, lack of coming together, lack of... um exchange right and the hangman so this ending led to stagnancy between you and this person it just kind of went to a halt you could also be trying to look at this from a different perspective to understand it more or maybe the person you're dealing with is trying to understand this from a different perspective so what's in the current moment for gemini sun moon rising venus what are they currently going through What's going on in the current moment for Gemini? Someone rising Venus. What's currently going on in the present moment for my Gemini? Someone rising Venus. What can Gemini expect in the current moment? What is the current moment for Gemini? Someone rising Venus. Okay. What is the current moment for Gemini? Someone rising Venus. Regarding the present moment. All right, the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles reversed, the King of Wands, and the Tower. Okay, so, so currently you may be feeling a little bit lonely right now with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You may be missing this person, the person you may have left behind. You may, you know, feeling a little bit lonely, or maybe this is talking about your finances, feeling like you may be not so secure in them. But we do have the Emperor here, and we also have the King of Wands, which is talking about you being successful and really good financially. And so, like, I don't know, I have a feeling like you're just missing somebody, or somebody could be missing you. If you're not missing anybody, it's the other person. The person who's keeping tabs on you, possibly, could be watching you from afar, could be missing you. I see that you're just trying to own your own, own your own, um, start your own empire, 
and make your own decisions and just be that tough bad bitch right own it you own it making empowered choices you know people really consider your opinion and the uh, things you say people listen to you because you have something to say and with the king of wands here he's a, he's a totally a leader especially this emperor this emperor king of wands energy you could be taking on leadership roles you may be like somebody who runs a business or you're somebody who works um like higher up like oh, what am i trying to you know what i'm trying i can't give, i can't i can't come up with the words it's weird today when i'm doing these readings it's like i can't even like put the words together but i hope that you are understanding what i'm saying it's like you have the um, the higher power the upper hand i don't fuck who gives a shit you're just successful you're very persistent you don't give up easy you have goals for yourself and you go through with them you don't give up you just keep going and um nobody can stop you but we have the tower moment coming up so I don't know if you've gone through this already or if it's something that's happening in the near future, but we'll look into it. There's a tower moment, but you know what? Tower moments aren't bad. It's just meaning that the universe kind of intervenes because there needs to be an ending here if there hasn't been one already. We'll look into that. Let's look into this, the first card, okay? Tell me about the tower regarding the present moment for Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus. Let the tower fall. Surrender to it, okay? Give up control. We, the Emperor, he likes control. But it's time to just give up control and go with the flow. So tell me about the tower for Gemini in the current moment, please. Oh, this tower moment for Gemini. Tell me about the tower for Gemini. Ooh, Page of Cups reversed. King of Wands reversed. Totally opposite energy of you. Either that or somebody's pissing you off where you flip. <laughs> oh, the tower. The sun reverse. Oh shit, what the hell is going on here? Tell me about the tower. Three of Cups reverse, coming at the tower. Seven of Swords reverse. Oh, oh. There's a card that fell. Hold on. Page of Wands. Okay. And Page of Swords. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. This is what I'm getting, you guys. So, whatever this tower moment is. I feel like this is regarding the person where there's very little to no communication. But then suddenly, we have the Page of Wands here. But we also have the Seven of Swords, which could be talking about having to talk about somebody's. It's like why am I getting like confronting, con confronting energy? Like somebody may confront you, or you may confront somebody here. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's like confronting somebody about their past behavior or like what they've done to you in the past, whatever this Ten of Swords was. So maybe somebody's going to confront you, or you might confront somebody, but it's definitely regarding a situation where there's no happiness here. There's no happiness. It's a lot of pain. And so either this person confronting you, pointing fingers at you, is going to piss you off, and they're gonna, you're going to flip the switch, and you're going to fucking call them out on their bullshit. Or you could be dealing with another King of Wands, another fire sign. Or Well, I see, because this is you, right? You don't have to be fire sign but this is like the energy or you know very persistent very passionate whatever right very creative you could be dealing with a person that's kind of like you very similar but they're reversed they're pissed off that you are moving on from them and with the page of swords at the bottom of the deck they could be watching you move on towards your happiness and whatever and your success and they're not happy so therefore they confront you to uh, after like time being separated and um I feel like one person's doing a lot of talking and the other person's just kind of listening. Like, because the two of wands, he's just standing there. He's not really doing much. He's not really saying much. He's just like, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. So, like, somebody's doing a lot of talking and somebody's just standing there and be like, mm-hmm, right? Like, because here's, look at this. We have the page of wands here, but then we have the page of cups reversed. So somebody's talking and somebody's staying quiet. But this is regarding a situation where it's not very happy. Somebody is confronting somebody about past behaviors or just like pointing fingers. So like even if you didn't do anything wrong, this person may try and blame you and be like, well, you did this and I, I'm the victim, playing the victim game. And it's like really, it takes two to tangle. I fucked up, you fucked up, we both fucked up, we both made mistakes. Nobody's perfect here. 
but you can't be blaming it all on me, right? And so either that or somebody's having a tower moment watching you succeed in the so that's that's one way and then what I'm, what I'm also getting is maybe this isn't your tower moment maybe this is somebody watching you from afar right the person watching you from afar somebody you left behind and um it's somebody who maybe have done trick just trickstery shit with you towards you playing mind games or just manipulative this king of wands reverse energy very in and out player type energy maybe they played games with you right or had other bitches and um, I, there's very little, no, very little communication or even just coming together, lack of coming together. And this person is just watching you afar. Like he's keeping an eye on you from a distance because there's very little to no communication. And then it's regarding this situation where it's not happy. But then I don't know what this page of wands is because then it just leaves this page of wands. And so it's like, oh, this could be you receiving good news and then watching you from afar. Right? But there's different ways you can interpret this. So, like, those are the ways I would view those cards. So, there's a few different little stories. You can decide which one is for you. All right? Maybe it hasn't played out yet, and so you're going to have to wait to see. But those are the different ways I would look at those cards. And But honestly, wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, a confrontation. Confrontation. I think I said that weird. It sounded weird to me. So, the King of Wands for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh. Five of Cups here, along with the Four of Wands. So somebody is, somebody is disappointed that you're being successful. Okay, somebody has not let you go. Somebody has not let you go. So you think people, look at this. Look at this. Somebody's watching you achieve success without them. Achieve victory, right? Because the Four of Wands is all about success and just happy time, celebration. And somebody's watching you without them. They're ha like they're miserable that you are doing better off that you left them behind. They have not let you go. I don't think this is you. I don't think this is you. I think this four of wands is you, and you're achieving success, and you're doing well. You may be missing them, or they may be missing you, but somebody here has not released you. And so they're very unhappy seeing that you're moving forward, and you're not really bothered by whatever happened in the past. And somebody's pissed off. Anything else for the King of Wands? In the present moment. Queen of Wands reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody's pissed off that you're fine without them, that you're living your best life, that you're doing your best thing, and you're succeeding, and they're pissed off because they wanted that too. They wanted a piece of that. But now that you cut them off because they were toxic or they were unhealthy, they're pissed off, and they're seeing that you're succeeding without them, and they're watching you from afar. They maybe maybe even confronting you for some, and they're they're angry. Queen, Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, Nine of Cups. They're like wishing that you didn't cut them off or whatever. Anything else for the King of Wands? Anything else? No, nope, that's not, there's nothing else coming out. Oh, but Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck because you left them out in the cold and they're pissed off. So there may not be a confrontation. Maybe that is just the way these It's telling you about this is what it's telling me you could be dealing with a libra here or another air sign it doesn't have to be but somebody who is a total bitch somebody who is very sharp very cold very no that with the queen of wands reversed and the king of wands reversed is like oh no oh shoot <laughs> like oh my god whoever this is glad i'm not dealing with them like oof. Good luck to y'all who's dealing with this crazy ass. I'm just kidding. The cross watcher, don't come at me. Um, but they could definitely be keeping tabs on you. I, but it was reversed, but still, they could be watching you from afar. They're just saying that there's very little to no communication. If it was upright, I'd be like, okay, there could be a confrontation. So I, I for a small percent, there could be a confrontation. But um, I feel like they're just watching you from afar. 
but see, look, there's no commitment here. There's no, they're not in your life anymore. I don't think you take them very seriously or they maybe didn't take, here's the thing. Maybe in the past, they didn't take you very serious and maybe they are playing mind games with you, but now the roles have swapped and you don't really take them serious. And now they take you serious because now we have the Knight of Cups. It's like they want to come forward with love and get you back but it's just like they're not and you wouldn't take them back anyways because you don't take them very serious and like you're done with them and you walked away and you're doing better off without them see that's the major sign if you cut these people off that are bad for you and you start succeeding and when they're not around there's a sign that don't take them back because then you're going to go back to where you were before you wouldn't have the success if you take them back right they would basically like jinx that success you just earned by yourself so I honestly I'm feeling like this is the person who's missing you this queen of wands reversed queen of swords reversed I feel like that's who's missing you wow and like see with the um, the knight of cups that came out and then the magician reverse is like if they resurface and turn back to you and like communicate with you it's because they have the wrong intentions here with the magician reverse they have the wrong intentions they say that you're this emperor status and they want a piece of it they're hoping that, oh, since they're the emperor and I can maybe get my way back in there, squeeze my way back, maybe I can somehow become an emperor status without working for it, right? I don't trust it. I don't think you trust it. And you're the emperor, so you're going to see right through that bullshit. Wow. <laughs> you guys, you're fucking reading yesterday and then today I'm just like, oh. But yesterday's was like really fucking crazy. So I don't even know if it's going to resonate with everybody. I haven't even uploaded it yet. I'm going to upload it later today. But yeah, tell me of the Emperor. Ten of Wands. Seven of Cups. Tell me of the Emperor for the current moment. The present moment for Gemini. Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor again. See? So. Oh, and look at this. We have the King of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Gemini here. It's looking like you're still carrying burdens regarding this person, this connection. You're still carrying on the baggage. You're still heavy. But you're keeping... It calm and collected and nobody can really tell that you're bothered by this or even just slightly bothered like you're still holding on to this like still maybe in the back of your mind that's okay but I do feel like you do have a lot of different options here a lot of different people pursuing you or just you've got a lot, a lot of things going on here to focus on and but you're still focusing oh but you're still just focusing on your emperor status and not letting anything get in the way of your success and we have the nine of pentacles here you're so close to the ten working on your independence and being a boss ass bitch without anybody else taking that shit away from you let's look into the near future let me just move these up how long has this been 27 minutes okay not too bad so what's in the near future for gemini regarding the current timelines we're in because you know keep in mind things can change because of your own free will so what are the current timelines looking like for gemini in the near future tell me about the near future for gemini what are they headed towards regarding the current timelines please where is gemini currently headed towards please Where is Gemini currently headed towards in the near future? Alright. Ooh. Where is Gemini currently headed towards in the near future? Where is Gemini currently headed towards in the near future? The heart thing at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so, ooh. We have the Empress reverse, Three of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles here. So... Something like you recognize that there's no growth in this past connection or this whatever this was between you and this evil not uh, evil. Oh what? <laughs> okay, maybe you're dealing with somebody who's fucking evil. I don't know why evil came out. What? Okay. <laughs> well, there's very little to no growth in the situation relationship regarding this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands reversed person. It's not really expanding. You put an end to it and you're not really interested in making it work. We have the Three of Cups here talking about you just enjoying your life and where you are right now and embracing the, these opportunities that are coming towards you and just celebrating and enjoying your success, really. The Three of Swords here is talking about you seeing things exactly as they are, seeing things clearly and not feeding into the bullshit, not letting anybody try and convince you otherwise because you see shit clearly you're very intuitive you're, you just you just know you just know 
And um, you're working on your financial security and stability, right? Knight of Pentacles. You deserve financial security. And that's exactly what you're working towards. You're doing just fine. So that's kind of what I'm seeing in the near future. It's like not much will change. I see that there will be a lot of joyful opportunities for you. But regarding this past person, there's not going to be much growth at all. Like, I don't see it. I don't think you see it either. You see shit exactly as it is. I feel like you're just going to be really working on yourself and your own stability and money and finances and just celebrating the good shit. So, yeah. Let's go into the Empress Reverse for Gemini in the near future. Six of Cups Reverse. I feel like you're looking back at this person in a negative light. Seven, oh uh, sorry, Five of Swords Reverse. Yeah, there could have been some def definitely a loss here, but you're moving forward. You're walking away. You're moving to more peaceful times. But yeah, you're looking back at this person where there's no growth in a negative light. You're reflecting and thinking about all the negative shit that they've done to you or what you've gone through because of them. And, um... Yeah, you're done with it. There's the Three of Cups. I don't see you guys connecting. I don't. I feel like this is more just regarding your success and celebrating. Um, with the Five of Swords reverse, I see that you're healing from this and you're moving forward. But there is definitely some kind of loss, loss of time, energy, um, and you're, it's like time that you can't get back, money you can't get back. Experience. Well, you, at least you gain experience from it and wisdom and knowledge from this, so you can take it and apply it in the future. So try to look at it more as like. A positive thing that happened because it's for your own personal growth but yeah you're moving the fuck away from this at, like no doubt <laughs> no doubt you're done you put your foot down and you're like fuck this shit crazy ass beach tell me about the three of cups ten of cups Ooh! sorry the three of cups for oh shit oh knight of wands tell me about the three of cups the fool and i'm not taking that too many cards Okay, so for the Three of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups here, so you're going to definitely be celebrating with people that you care about and people that support you, people you love, whether this is your family, friends, lover, whoever the fuck you're dealing with in your life. Now, maybe you're starting a family or you have a family or whatever, but I'm seeing that there's still, this still kind of lingers on in your in the back of your mind. It still kind of stresses you out. Maybe you're anxious that they may return. Maybe you're worried that what happens with this or what happens with that. Try not to, don't let that get in the way of your happiness and success don't let this person ruin it for you don't let this person ruin your ten of cups for you like you deserve to be happy and experience this happy times and joyful times don't let this person take a shit on your happiness literally and so we have the knight of wands here along with the fool and it's really just saying you're taking action without stressing about it or overthinking your choices you're just going for it confidently and nobody can stop you and you're just going for whatever feels best for you whatever suits you and makes you excited or passionate about it. you're going towards it and um it could be about your finances and successes success whatever let's go into the three of swords real quick i feel like you may still be feeling a little bit of pain regarding this connection because who knows how much it affected you. Like, it could have, there's a scale here. Maybe it was something that wasn't that serious or something that was super serious. So you decide where you are on this scale. Kind of the three of swords for Gemini. But yeah, I feel like there's definitely some type of betrayal here. Yeah, I feel like you're having a hard time letting this go. Like, whatever this person did to you, I feel like you're having a really hard time accepting something. Kind of the three of swords eight of cups reverse it's regarding this past connection this past person okay that's what you're having a hard time releasing like you're releasing it obviously and you're not going back to it you look back at this person in a negative way but i feel like there's just like this energy of like disbelief or like wow what this person did or said or whatever was so unbelievable i was so blindsided by their actions or whatever because i was in love with them but they were all like all along they were like this i don't know Talking about the Three of Swords for Gemini, the Nine of Cups, so, but you know that there are better things out there, you know that you have these wishes that can be granted, right, and so therefore you're not going to settle for less, you're not going to settle for some $2 hope, like, fuck them, they ain't shit, they played you wrong, they did you wrong, and you know what, you deserve better, and you know your fucking worth, and so therefore, you're going to just have better things in your future, cut this shit out, and you get better things to replace these fuckers. Coming with the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Six of Wands reverse. Hmm. The Magician reverse. What? 
Oh, but Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe part of you is like scared of failure, scared of messing up or scared of things not working out in your favor. And so maybe you're feeling a little bit hesitant or that you don't have the right materials to make things work. But honestly, if you just keep taking the time to move forward and remember when I was talking about the moon, those stepping stones is just taking one step at a time one step at a time you're going to get to this abundance one step at a time you're going to get to this ten of pentacles don't worry don't worry don't let these fears get in the way especially um where was it can we have the nine of swords i swear where did it go did i put it away i i saw that nine of swords here and now it's gone so unless the car just walked away or maybe i just put it in the deck who fucking knows but yeah, no, it's just like whatever fears or stresses or just thoughts you've been having, don't let that get in the way. Don't manifest that shit, all right? Be aware of those thoughts you're thinking because you don't want to attract that shit. You can have this Ten of Pentacles. Know that you can. You can reach it. Don't let these doubts get in the way. Don't let these worries stop you from achieving whatever you want, all right? So let's do a quick little singles reading and then I'm going to do some advice. Like, you guys got so much potential. Don't give up. <laughs> Especially over some stupid-ass bitch. Just kidding, house watcher. Don't kill me. I don't know you. You're not a stupid-ass bitch, but, like, you did the person wrong or whoever I'm reading wrong. So, like, I mean, you can reverse it, too. Maybe you're the one who got done dirty, but, like, I'm gonna talk as if it's Gemini who's been done wrong, all right? But maybe you did the wrong, wrong doing. Who fucking knows? Don't worry. Let's just go into the singles reading. Any... New love opportunities for my single Gemini's. What time are we at? 36 minutes. Oh, shit. Any love opportunities for my single Gemini's? Looking for love. Alright. Any new love opportunities for my Gemini's in the near future? For the second half of September? Any new love opportunities? Alright. Judgment reversed, Emperor first, Six of Swords, Page of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles here. So, I'm feeling like you're definitely moving on. You're moving forward from this. You definitely need to have compassion with yourself, okay? Whatever you've gone through in the past, definitely have compassion with yourself. It's okay to feel this way. You may be wondering, why am I not over this? Like, they treat me like shit, and I'm still not over them. It's just like, it takes time. What you gotta do is give up control and just accept it for what it is, and just go with the flow of life, all right? Nine of Pentacles here, you're just working on yourself. I feel like you guys may just be more single for the rest of the month, but hey, if you want to put yourself out there and like go on dates and meet new people, go for it. Don't go for it. We have the Page of Wands here, which talks about good news and maybe flirty messages and meeting new people. So if you're open to it, go for it. But if you're still kind of going through the purging of these emotions, maybe just take the time to just focus on building yourself back up. Either way, though, whatever you choose to do, you're moving forward and you're moving on from whatever happened, okay? So just know that, and let's get advice, right? Whew. Any advice for Gemini, someone who has a Venus, for the second half of October 2019? Any advice for Gemini? Oh, shit. I'm, look, oh, this card has gotten fucked up. I'm gonna have to tape it, because, like, you see, it's, like, peeling down. No! That sucks. Any advice from my Gemini's? For the second half of October 2019, any advice? Maybe I should shuffle it um, this way. So I don't... Wands reversed, six of cups reversed, eight of pentacles reversed, and five of pentacles reversed. Okay, so advice here 
definitely take time to enjoy these great opportunities that are coming towards you, your success. Go out, celebrate. You enjoy it. You deserve it. Don't let this past shit, this shitty ass person get in the way of your happiness. Because I feel like for some, you're letting this person get in the way of your happiness because of whatever they did in the past. This Queen of Wands reverse and the Six of Cups reverse. You're pissed off at this person. You're done with them. They did you wrong. Whatever they whatever they did, you're mad at it. In the Six of Cups reverse, you're just looking at this person in a negative light. I think what you need to do is challenge yourself and try to look at this from a different perspective. Try and look at this in a positive way. You may be like, oh, I got nothing positive out of this. It's like, actually, you got experience and you learned more about yourself and your worth. And like, you learned so much shit because of this. So just reflect and learn not learn reflect and look at what you've learned okay because everybody gone through something different so i can't tell you what you learned from this you gotta reflect and go within you to figure it out okay so just try and challenge yourself it may you may not want to and that's okay but just do it because you may actually understand something from a different perspective and you may be like oh that makes so much sense why this happened because this and then this and then you know you know so just like try and look at it from a different perspective it's good just for your own self-growth and like learning more about yourself and who you are but again we have the eight of pentacles reverse and the five of pentacles here so i just feel like you're not wanting to put any more time and energy into whatever this is so it's just like right you don't want to work into this anymore you don't want to feed the monster anymore so then stop feeding into it look at it from a different perspective stop giving and feeding into the negative energy all right try and raise that vibration of yours because even like having hateful thoughts kind of will lower your vibration so try and like i don't know try and look at this from a different perspective challenge yourself too and with the five pentacles reverse i feel like you're just working on your own stability and your own finances getting yourself at a better state right we had the ten of pentacles come out in the near future so you're working towards your ten of pentacles if you don't have it already so that's good keep it up don't give up and uh, just keep moving forward. So that's what I got for you guys in this reading. If you got something from this video, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.